Hey everybody, welcome back to the long wall. See, June 2nd, three days, three days away from advanced mag weapons. Artwork coil will be done in one day, which is a nice hit of Valerium. I've got to say, considering the fact that it's the start of June and we're sitting on over 100 alloys and soon to be over 100 Illyrium, that's a po that, that is a positive indicator. 14 Illyrium cores and counting, also a positive indicator. Biggest positive indicator of all those five countries contacted, which I'm sure for all of you guys in the comments who are gods of long war, this is nothing probably already got all 16 countries liberated by this time but for me this is pretty impressive not to mention 51 intel just need to get to 107 and get another contact and we can get up to six which is six of 16 potentially before even july i'm really really happy with that So South Africa keeps, the haven in South Africa keeps getting the shit kicked out of it, but maybe that's not so bad because it's keeping Advent busy while we liberate West Africa. We've done Lib 2 already. This is not a Lib mission, but this was too good to turn down. Some intel and an intel package. Right, so we are gathering intel in Chile and West Africa. Setting course for Sector 4. Chile. Uh, 30 supplies ready to go for the battle scanners the second the uh, proving ground goes up. Supply raid, that's unfortunately not doable with only one day. Maximum power consumption reached. Moving ground in four days. I might actually want to do the resistance ring then, if I can squeeze those supplies. But I mean, with advanced and regular mags unlocked, I really think I need to focus my money on getting mag weapons across the board. Eight days for rebels. What? Here he cruise. What? Commander. Should be aware we're <clears throat> detecting lost activity in this area our forces will need to be especially vigilant all resistance personnel and terry crews who just got kidnapped i'm very confused i thought you had to do a covert op to get the mission to get him out i'm extremely confused but what ifs let's get our boy and this will be four resistance personnel that will get this haven up to 13 resistance personnel. Now, I know that I have a bunch of lads who are on haven advisory, but I just want to see what kind of a six-man squad can I throw together. I mean, there's only seven to nine. And we're going to have lost on this mission, which will make it easier. So I think... I mean, I, I can, can justify taking these low-level people on this. But it weigh that up against... Uploading my XP, but I think this is a good this is a good uh, opportunity to get some XP down here in the trenches. So Sidorov, actually less important that he has a uh, stock because he's a snapshot sniper. Conan the Marbarian. Uh, let's give him a assault rifle. I mean, if I have the stock, I'll definitely give it to him. So, in previous missions, I haven't been too crazy about uh, fighting 7 to 9 aliens. I want to do 10 to 12 for the XP, but I think this is a decent exception. Because the lads are lower level. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have to build the training center to go back for Slugshot. There's a 75 aim. Kesogu. Kesogu. 
It's going to do great work with Slug Shot in this campaign. The buff that was given to it for Armor Pierce was really, really good. Okay, so it's by Shinobi. Got focus. The dodge is good, but plus 14 focus, I mean, plus 14 will. I think I have to wait for this will level to go up a little bit. That will is so low that it's like almost unusable. Fifteen dodge in the technical, that's really interesting. With an elite uh, dodge, that's plus 20 dodge, getting his dodge up to almost 40. Anyways, technical with the panicking flamethrower, one rocket. Do I have a gauntlet level 2 available? I think the only one that we bought was already out in the field. <clears throat> And on the subject of 7 to 9 enemies compared to 10 to 12, the fact that we only have one mag rifle on this mission just reinforces the fact that we should just do 7 to 9. Okay, Operation Swamp Fire. Let's get our boy back. Conan, Aftermath, Stalker, Majid, Vitala, and Majid. Now, what, one trick I did miss, though is the Fulton Harness. I didn't put a Fulton Harness in this squad. I probably should have. My service to the elders. I am obligated to try even the most disreputable of tactics. This has to be a bug now at this point. Four in a row, chosen sabotage has failed. Damn. The lowest amount of days I would look at a sabotage for is... I don't know. Four days? With two days boosted, I can maybe get up to four days, but then four soldiers conceivably can maybe be up against 13 to 15, which is really pushing it. Let's do this mission and take a look. I mean, if, if it's conceivable that I could do that supply mission, it's absolutely worth the intel spend. <clears throat> but for a four-man squad to be successful against at least 13 to 15 i would guess would need to be my best ranger with mag rifle who's not available i think it's just a bridge too far but we'll take a look that is assuming this entire squad doesn't get wiped or injured now which so far is quite on brand for this campaign stay, stay. Okay, so we're downloading a data cache. Oh, we're doing it in the train yard. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? So this Savannah drone could come this way. I know the truth. There's no going back. Reasonable chance I don't get discovered. But as we've seen before, honestly, I'm not too phased by getting revealed on turn one. I prefer to do it, Moving. the reveal that is, against full squad, or a full pod, but especially on a 7 to 9 mission, I'm not that phased, and this is nice, so the Hulkster should be able to get up here on the next turn. <clears throat> I could do it now, give him heart advantage on the next turn, but it's too risky, there could easily be a pod there. Have you ever cut down on all fours in butted heads with a Sherman tank? Have you ever arm wrestled a rhinoceros? And of course, getting a Hulkster revealed there would have been disastrous because it would have had, you know, whatever you reveal, having a full turn against him out in the open with no chance to react. Let's throw him as far left as possible, give us the best chance of, uh, of good angles. I think just other side of the train tracks here is as far as I want to go this turn. Honest. Running. And obviously I've got to give Trumi a couple turns okay. to catch up. 
really struggling under the weight of all those grenades. Sounds like aliens. It's simple. Now there's a Batman. That's half cover, but that gives him really good sight lines. We've got an enemy squad here. And that Naga could be quite a challenge. Rolling out. Got eyes on a hostile squad. That drone could really F things up for us soon. But actually It has been a long road, brother, but I can promise you it all stops here, man. Oxter will do better there. Copy that. Copy that. Nice. And I've got focus fire. Finally, I'm going to start being able to have a little bit of officer abilities in these missions. I prefer to not get revealed now. Okay, we can work with this. I think we move towards the mech pod. The temptation is to move towards the Naga pod so I can make sure I take out the Naga, which is the most, it's the most difficult alien. The most dangerous alien I see on this map. But then I run the risk of getting flanked by these lads. Moving on target location. Now that I think about it for a split second, I mean, yeah, I think killing this, th th there's a Naga next to this Viper. Affirmative. Covering now. Uh, I think. That's affirmative. Essentially, uh, if, if the Viper, the Naga gets revealed and pops up onto this roof here, we are in real trouble. Like, that's tempting as well. He's got. Uh, needle grenades. Let's give it one more turn and then we gotta go loud. In fact, I'm close enough to this pod now that this pod to turn around and path into us would actually be ideal. In fact, I do that on purpose. And I've got trench guns so I can conceivably take those two out. I'm not too worried about the Viper. It usually just does some stupid shit like using its tongue. Service. Let me put MAL here so that he has the potential to rocket on the next turn. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with the trying to block this control now this turn. Oh, damn. Only four turns left now until network shutdown. And I probably need two turns to be able to get onto that objective. Okay, this kind of changes things. I feel like I'm being pushed now to move up onto the objective, which is not ideal. That could be a reveal. Seven to nine, we've got three, four, five, six, seven. A chance of another pod here, but it isn't that likely. We don't have a lot of darkness there. Hmm. I think just one more turn, and then the storm of violence starts. I will reposition. My watch begins. Now Bronco is closest to the objective, and it's not ideal for him to actually do that hack. Especially with the Naga and the Viper. So I'm going to move the Assault Trooper close. I, I, I'm thinking of, I need a plan for that whole pod. Bronco can hopefully shoot and then overwatch and shoot or walk fire to kill two of them. And then Joker can either run and gun and shoot the Naga or run and gun and just a flank it to, to take care of it. <clears throat> so I'll be, I need to be in view of this mech because I need to be able to uh, focus fire and then shoot at it on the next I turn. For the We've got MAL who will 
maybe rocket and shred the mechs. I think I've got I've got enough damage solutions on the mech. Moving to position. So I'm gonna have these three deal with this pod. Scanning. And then the rest uh, will all deal with this pod. So hopefully they path into us now this turn. If not, we just have to aggro them on their turn. I cannot spend any more time trying to crack rock and overwatch trap. Okay, good. I think I left someone else out. Really? Ugh. I think my opening move is Trumi Griffin with a needle grenade on all three of these. There's a chance he might kill one, and he'll certainly wound the Viper and or the Naga to a point where Bronco has an easy walk fire to finish off. Okay, then these guys activate and scamper. Then it's on me pretty much to take down the mech. Eight hit points, he'll need something else. MAL, obviously, it's, it's tempting to just open like this, but I want that sort of gear. And I think he's got a better chance of moving up and maybe setting fire to both of those two. Meaning that, in, as is the case so many times, I don't actually want anybody on Overwatch at this point now. Put Trumi in the open facing this pod because I'm reasonably confident I'll have all of them killed. There goes the stun lancer, beautiful. Now we just need a snake clean up on aisle two. So I was hoping that MAL might be able to flamethrower both of these two organics. I don't think he can though. Might be able to find an angle from here, hit them both. But what's Hulkster's best shot? Okay, well in that case he can just take down the gunner because he doesn't have any other great options. Oh, right in the head. My hit chance on the mech 88 decay, it'll be over 90 now. I think the surveillance drone is going to be the one enemy I don't have an answer for. But I can work with that. Run and gun, finish off the Naga. It's actually a fair chance of aggroing the other two, but I don't have you know another solution for this Naga. You will die. Ooh, this could actually be a decent solution. I mean, that's an 80 something, 81% chance to kill there. Which means I can 80% drone. Very nice. Not too shabby. Very, very nice. And I'm actually forced to rocket these two. Or I just accept the damage from the mech, which is no good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a 50% chance to kill the mech. 40 something percent chance to kill the engineer. It takes away the loot. Okay. Is he going to point blank shoot or grenade? Okay, only one single point of injury. Unfortunately, I don't have a medic 
Okay, so it's one point of one point of damage on Griffin. Could have been way worse. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Uh, what's the knife do? One to two damage. One damage. <laughs> Lol. <clears throat> With a drone, that's fine. Pretty sure the Hulkster can take care of that drone. Conditioning, advanced focus. It's gonna wipe you out forever. Nailed him. Cool. Combat music changes, so that's everyone. Move, move, move. I got it. <laughs> yeah, so the ranger will pick up. No, we'll do the hack and pick up the corpse in the next turn. Moving. Where's that snake? This town deserves a better class of criminal. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Happy with that outcome so far. I'm going. Obviously disappointing to not really have a chance at a decent hack reward, but specialists are all either injured or in officer training. Time Lancer Corpse, which interestingly in this campaign, just I've like inadvertently me, just skipped the usual early game priority uh, of having to get Stun Lancer Corpses for my Shinobis. Because I just really haven't had Shinobis. Well, dude. It hasn't felt too bad, that bad actually. So I think it's three days, then advanced mag weapons is going to be done. Usually I would go straight into stun launcher autopsy for that shinobi sword. But I'm going to go straight, I think, into viper autopsy. So that I can do uh, gas grenades immediately. I'll be swift. I mean, I'm aware that if I go straight off the mag rifles enough if i go back and then finish up laser rifles and advanced laser rifles i got a chance of getting some autopsies for free but i don't want to be leaving it down to chance whatever you say i can take him getting it done no problem boss Holster, you grab that mech. The holsters have always stayed with me through the training of prayers and the vitamins. Let's believe in ourselves. Never actually realized how much of a hectic lisp Incredible Hulk had. Just hang on to the largest back in the world. And I'll start battles. He didn't have a lisp there. Maybe in that clip he was just particularly coked up. Oh, the 80s. A crazy time. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I've had my fill. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Great mission, lads. MVP? I think the Ranger. Those two 80% shots were clutch. Although in terms of most damage, Trumi Griffin might actually have done the most damage with that single needle grenade opening up. I think he did 14 damage just to that single grenade. That's a frag grenade.
stun gunner. Oh, did I have bonus to hit? Fortify. Run and gun. Run and gun. Got to deal 50% more damage. Yeah, because it'll be extra conditioning and then rapid fire. Then bring him on. And then probably lethal. Street Sweeper is good as well, but I just I prefer that single target delete enemy option from the Assault Trooper. Yeah, yeah, force under strength, always. A lot of potential bonds. Sorry lads, this might take a little while just to see what my options are for bonds. So this is the average assault trooper. He needs yeah, the average intelligence shinobi. No. High technical needs to bond with very high ranger. Average sharpshooter needs to bond with average grenadier. Average technical needs to bond with average ranger. Oopsie, I had Zachariah there. He's very low. Damn. Average gunner needs to bond with average specialist. Getting the bonds going is going to be really, really hard. Low sharpshooter must bond with low grenadier. Griffin is high. No. Low specialist. Bond with low gunner. It'll, it'll take a while. We'll, we'll get there. An extra resistance contact. Oh, man. Setting course for West Africa. Ah, so two of us against 30 of them. Yeah, that ain't happening. Pity. Avenger plotting new course. So you know how I was talking about needing to get to 107 intel and then having the resistance order getting us up to 6? This I wasn't expecting at all. I mean, it was always on the cards, but this is such incredible good fortune. I don't think I have the double rewards from scan. I do. All res oh, it's resource rewards. Which obviously makes sense because I think giving you two contacts would be way too powerful. I mean, conceivably, if I can do the radio tower mission, I can make contact there soon. I mean, this is 107 Intel. I need to do one more mission that gives me intel rewards. Or maybe a data pad. That's a bit of scanning at Reaper HQ and we've got six contacted. Then at the end of the month, I'll switch across the double resource rewards for the other contact. I can get up to seven. <laughs> crazy. I'm going to do it. Because of, of course, uh, having these many countries contacted uh, is really, really good. And it's such an investment in the long-term health of the campaign. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Inspired laser weapons in six days. Five days for Viper. As I was clicking continue there, I was just desperately hoping it would say Viper Autopsy is now instant. Oh, okay, the Viper is going to have to wait. Datapad gets me this next country contact. Advance attention, I don't actually want to do that. Come to me the liberation mission. Yeah, yeah, this is bugged 100%. Left to run. Six days for Intel and Intel package. I mean, I could do that. Intel says higher concentration of robotic enemies. Okay, so 
and I especially want to do that for the reason that I have a pretty damn good chance of having a Fulton harness be able to get a parrot or maybe even two out. And with the Lost being present on this mission, I think I can actually have a decent chance of sending a smaller squad in. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting Lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Any Shinobis available? No. No bridge. So the, the Shinobi he needs to go with is infiltrating. The very low Grenadier is a very low sharpshooter available. Yes. So there's two tensions here competing, which is sending the highest level lads to top load the XP. But then there's also the tension of trying to get the bonds going. And right now I'm just feeling the pull of wanting to get the bonds going. Wherever possible wherever possible that is. So I'm going to leave the very low ranger behind because his bond mate is somebody else. But I need to send him out. <clears throat> I might just have to bond these guys even if they're not perfectly suited. Or just remain remain patient, it'll come. It'll come. Six enemies, ten to twelve under infiltrated. Eleven turns. So we can do six against ten to twelve or five against seven to nine. I think I want the ten to twelve. Okay, so I've got how many? Okay, two mag rifles in the squad. That's nice. I think I might give Bane the mag rifle. Sweet, we've got a shotgun. Does anybody have the mobility to justify using that shotgun? I don't think so, no. I'll hang on to the shotgun for my assault trooper operating in the next turn. Next mission, rather, excuse me. Unwavering stance, very nice. You know, I should consider unwavering stance on my rangers this campaign, considering how I want them to go into uh, the triple overwatch shot build. 85 aim with armor piercing. I, I actually took the wrong ability here on, on Levi Levi. Yeah, I took Sapper when I should have taken needle grenades. Oops. Right, who's going to carry the Fulton Harness? The Specialist. Advanced Auto. Better off there. Regular Scope. Presser won't do anything. But I think I'm going to slap it on anyway. Alright, Operation Heavy Fog. Let's hack the workstation in the facility. Get ourselves a nice intel hit and an intel package. 81%, it's very close to 75, which could push it to 13 to 15. If strength goes up while we are infiltrating. I mean, I've got grenades, which is a nice way of summoning Lost to help us. Will hit point and dodge. So we've got hit points, dodge. I don't know. I'm just really thinking I should leave someone behind. Very low. Is 
slow, so those two can bond. These two can't bond. Average gunner, low specialist, average high. I think that's who I leave behind. Or do I leave the gunner behind instead? Because the technical is going to do very well with this flamethrower in case I start getting over overflowing with lost. This is probably a better option. But I will actually need a suppressor here. Just because having it at exactly 100% in the travel time to get there, it then takes you over back up to 10 to 12. Three hours gap, which I think is enough. Okay, Operation Heavy Fog. We're going to go with a 7 to 9, I think, just to be conservative. The Hulkster, Levi, Bronco, Velour Fog, Bane. One other thing to think about. I can't do a long rifle. Uh, the supplies we have are earmarked for battle scanners, so don't spend that money. Okay, I really shouldn't say this, but I'm starting to feel like I'm getting momentum on my side again. Man, resistance network would be amazing for us, considering how many countries we make in contact with. Okay, nice little episode. So we got a 144, probably realistically around 100 supplies in eight days. Proving ground in four hours. I, I'm just going to spin to get the proving ground. Look at how the strength has moved out of South Africa. It was at, up at seven, now it's down to five. So that, that, that just shows you how the, the two strengths uh, that moved to West and East Africa came out of South Africa. East Africa has gotten actually quite high now strength so I think I should be spinning at West Africa now and on West Africa given the strength and the vigilance I'm only gonna take only gonna take uh, liberation missions Unless I get like an incredible good mission. I think I might even turn down a smash and grab at this point. the other sharpshooter. I think I had the other sharpshooter advising uh, New Chile and Marden. So stock, laser sight, expanded mag is my preferred setup for sniper rifles. I used to take scopes, but hitting enemies isn't the challenge. You normally hit them quite nicely. I mean, base crit chance on a sniper rifle. With an elite, you get that up to 35. With a flank, plus 40. So you've got a 75% chance of crit. When you use precision, it takes crit up to 100. And you give them talent rounds. And uh, they can pretty reliably delete the target. And then when they hit Master Sergeant, they then can shoot twice every second turn. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skull Jack. Thank you, Lily. I also like the fact that I've got two gremlins waiting to go for the proving ground. Throw them, them, throw them in there straight away. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as. We uh, can. alloy plating as well. Yep. So how long for battle scanners? In four days. So I'm gonna need 
20 supplies. When that's done, so let's sell something to get up to 15. You get you get one battle scanner when you when you research it. Vipers are paying double, which is a pity. So I think I'm gonna need a viper corpse when I do the viper autopsy. Market is open. Troopers will hang on to the agility PCSs. I don't. Mm. Whoopsie. Sector 13, South Africa. What are my rewards here? Jailbreak is no intel. Hack workstation is 33 intel. So that's 81. When I do that 33 intel mission, I'll then have enough to come to contact Eastern Europe. We have enough people available to run another mission, so let's go scan in West Africa and see if we can pick up the next liberation mission. I might even throw a cheeky scientist in there because, specifically, I'm hoping to get my hands on a liberation mission. And then if we get the liberation mission we're after, we'll just take the scientist out of there. Okay, friends, nice little episode. Feels like we're stabilizing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose. Long War of the Chosen.